You're listening to the Holistic Spaces podcast with Angie Cho, episode number one, getting started with the basics of feng shui. Welcome to the very first episode of the Holistic Spaces podcast, where I hope to inspire, educate, and empower you to create your own holistic spaces that truly nurture and support you. I'm Angie Cho, a licensed architect, feng shui expert, and founder of the Holistic Spaces blog and online store, selling beautiful and nourishing objects for living. For the first episode, I thought we'd just get started with the basics of feng shui. I'll tell you a little bit about what feng shui is, where it came from, how to get started, and one of the most basic principles of feng shui called the commanding position. Feng shui is an ancient art of placement that was developed thousands of years ago. Feng shui seeks to enhance and improve the flow of energy through your environment to maximize the positive potential for your life. It's a truly holistic way to look at your environment, and it may include interior design or architectural design, but really it's more than that. Feng shui looks beyond the superficial, and it's about creating awareness beyond what you see on the surface. The intent is to create an environment that truly supports and nurtures you. As a holistic interior architect, many people share with me the wish to integrate feng shui into their homes and businesses, but they want to wait until the space is clean, or until they have more time, or when they move, or when they're going to renovate. And these are all, of course, appropriate times to work on your space. But what most people don't know is that you can incorporate feng shui at any time. It may even be more helpful when it comes at a challenging time in your life. Feng shui is more than just moving furniture around. It's about shifting your environment physically and energetically to support and nurture your life. So even if you're not ready to renovate or redesign your home, you can still incorporate feng shui principles into your space. So how to get started. There are many aspects to feng shui and one of the most important rules is called the commanding position. The commanding position is the feng shui concept that governs where and how you can position your furniture in a given space to achieve the best and most positive flow of energy. Ideally, your bed, desk, and stove should be positioned so that you can see the door while you're not in line with the door. So you want to be in a place where you can see the door but not directly in line with the door. Better yet, it's Best to have your back against the wall, the furthest wall from the door, so you can see the biggest expanse of the room. And remember, you don't want to be directly in line with the door. Now, this places you in the commanding position of the room. So you are in command of the room, in command of your home, in command of that space, in command of the office, in command of your life, so that you can see what the universe brings to you and you're not in a position to be surprised. The commanding position situates you so that you can clearly see ahead and move forward with your eyes open. So for instance, if you're sitting in a restaurant, a lot of people prefer to be closer to the back and with their back against the wall facing the door. So one, you could see people coming in. You're not going to be surprised by anyone coming up behind you, maybe startling you. And that's how it works. You want to, again, position your bed your desk, and your stove, which are your three most important pieces of furniture in your home, you want to position those in the commanding position. The bed represents you and your personal life. Your desk represents your career, and your stove represents your wealth and how you nourish yourself in the world. So where does this commanding position concept come from? From a scientific perspective, there are areas of your brain that are more primitive and connected with the fight or flight response. It's also known as the acute stress response. This feeling of danger and fear is a physiological response that you experience on a subtle level when you're not in the commanding position. Your adrenals are activated, your anxiety levels increase, and therefore it affects your mood and health. For instance, if you're sitting in a cubicle with your back to the door of the cubicle, also your back to the hallway, and also your back to the entry door, your body's triggered by this stressful position relative to your environment. Although not everyone is consciously aware of it, it does affect you. It's like a stone that has water dripping on it lightly for years. Drop, 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 
the stress levels begin to wear you down. And a stone that has had a drop of water dripping on it for years, it'll start to wear away at the stone. So these little things really do affect you. Historically, the commanding position is also called the armchair position in feng shui. So where that represents where you have the mountain in back of you for support no armies can come up behind you. And then you have your arms supported on either side by smaller mountains. And then the river and valleys in front of you so you can see any enemies coming your way from miles away. On a practical level, being in the commanding position can increase your happiness, relaxation, and productivity to name just a few benefits. Metaphorically, the commanding position situates you in control of your life, your present, and your future. You're able to see everything that's open and available to you and you can see the bad and the good and properly prepare for it all. You can observe and act on the opportunities that the universe presents to you because you can see them coming. Overall, you'll feel more nurtured, more safe, and more protected in this position. The commanding position is essential for how you can position yourself in any situation. So again, furniture-wise, it's beneficial for you to rearrange your bed, your desk, both at home and work, and your stove in this position. Now, I started by saying you don't have to renovate your home or do redecorate your home to incorporate feng shui. So it's totally understandable that this furniture placement is not always possible, especially maybe for the stove. It is understandable that this furniture placement is not always possible. So you can make an adjustment to the unfavorable position by placing a mirror in such a way that you can see the door to the room. For desks and stoves, I recommend a small makeup mirror or a small convex mirror, the kind that you can find in an automotive shop. I also sell them on my website. You can also find uh, rear view mirrors for computers. I've seen them at Staples or other office supply stores like that. For your bed, you can get a tall standing mirror or some kind of mirror and just make sure that you position it so that when you're sleeping, you can see the door. So for all of these situations, if you make an adjustment with the mirror, please make sure that when you're sitting at your desk, when you're standing at your stove cooking, or if you're lying down in bed, you can clearly see the door in the mirror. It'll take a little bit of maneuvering, but once you get the mirror in the right place, that will put you back into the commanding position because your mind wants to feel safe and this will do that. It's the perception that you're not in command that really creates a level of anxiety and stress. And this will really help you to create more peace and a space that will truly nurture you. Feng Shui can be simple and straightforward, but take some time and look at how you can rearrange the furniture in the commanding position so you can be in command to encourage relaxation and allow the best of you to shine through. Recognize that you're making a small change to let the universe know that you're ready to accept the best things that are coming to you. So I encourage each of you to move your desk, bed, or stove, one of those, at least one of those, into the commanding position this week. And of course, if you can't move the desk, bed, or stove into that commanding position, get a mirror. You can find one on holisticspaces.com and position it so you can see the door. And remember the rules of the commanding position. You want to be able to see the door, but not be in line with the door. And also, you want to try to have your back against the wall if possible. So usually diagonal from the door is a really ideal position. Thank you so much for listening to the Holistic Spaces podcast and for being here for the first episode. Please tune in on the second and fourth Mondays of every month for a new podcast episode. Next time, I'll review the basics of the feng shui map called the Bagua.